When you want to change the images that are on your page, you need to locate the tag for the image. So here we have a paragraph tag that has an image tag inside it. The image tag is img src equals, and we give it the location. In this case, we have an images subfolder, that's the images slash, and then we put the file name. And we need to know how to, what the file name is and the file type. So when we go look at it in our folder here, go to images, the reason that this picture is showing up is because this is what we know. So we need to be able to get another picture inside here. So I'll show you how to get a picture of your choosing from the web. So I've got a web page pulled up here. Let me minimize this. I'm going to right click on this picture just to show you what you would do. Right click, save image as, and we pay attention to where the image is going. Um, all right, I'm going to stick this picture inside this images subfolder. This is not a file name you're going to want to or try to remember the file name. You can name it whatever you want. So we're just going to name it bird. It tells you here the file extension. So you don't have to put .jpg. It's automatic. And we're going to hit save. And now that image should be stored in our images subfolder. So all we would have to do is return back to this spot. And then we're going to change it to bird because it's the name of the file and it's a JPEG. And then we need to make sure that we save the file. Control S with the new change. Return back over here. And then we're going to hit refresh or F5. And now the bell rang. Um, now we have our bird picture showing on our web page. So that's the basics of how you can get images saved from the internet. Um, into your web page. So just to kind of recap, you just right click, save image as, pay attention to where it goes. So put it in the images subfolder, come up with a name, and then return back to your code and um, edit your code. Make sure you save it. If you make a typo, I'll just add two eyes just to show you here how dangerous it could be. So this file doesn't exist. So when I control S, and save it and I refresh my page, this is what's going to happen because that file B-I-I-R-D doesn't exist. So be careful with your spelling. The same can be said here if you change the file extension, you, you don't get it right. Like if you put G-I-F, you're going to get, if I save it and refresh, same error. So be careful with um, making sure you know the file name and the file type. The other thing is make sure that you leave the quotation marks. Uh, I noticed that I accidentally took that out. So always leave the quotation marks. And I'm still, even with the quotation marks, it still won't load because there's no such file as a bird.gif in my folder.